Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you are just coming, please subscribe to my channel. If you are existing subscriber, thank you for tuning in. Today we are going to set up a new Ubiquiti Air Max Rocket Prism 5AC. So without much, let us continue. Already I have set up the device outside. So what I need now just to configure it for other device to connect. So the first thing you need to do when you turn on your any Ubiquiti device for the first time is trying to set up the IP. So now it's already connected to my Ethernet. I will go to my network setting. Then I will go to network and internet. It depends on the operating system you are using, but mostly for the Windows, this is network and internet. So I'll go to Ethernet. Then I will go to IP address. Then manual. I will change the IP address to 192.168.1.1. Any number. I enjoy using 23, which is just uh, uh, ahead with the IP. So we put our subnet max. For this using Windows uh, 10 downward, I think the subnet max is just coming automatically upon putting the IP address. So we don't need the gateway now. I will save. When I save, then I will go to my browser. When I go to I will go to my browser. Okay, I will write 192.168.1.20. This is the IP address for the Ubiquiti product for the first time. So some people prefer to use their, uh, to set up their IP based on their network so that it can be easy accessible across all locations or all connected devices. So now I will click advance, proceed to IP because it's in secured connection. So here you will set your country. So I will use license. My country here, we use license English, then agree continue. After then I will put a username and choose a password. Make sure when choosing the password, you choose a very secured password because uh, your device might be accessible on the internet by other users. So to secure it is a very strong password and safe. So the first thing I'm going to do is, I'm going to check the wireless settings. Here you see WPS pre-shared key. This is the password that you used uh, in order to connect to your device. If any device want to connect, then you use that. So for that, they are asking me to log in again because for the first time, they do not ask me to log in after setting the password. So it's just checking. So I will still uh, update my password because the one I put uh, last, I did not save. So after then, I will click on save. Now I have my password. Here you see antenna. I will come back to it and explain more about it because uh, the antenna you select is uh, exactly how the quality of your internet and the speed uh, is going to work. So you need to know which kind of antenna you are using. Then for the IP address here, you see we have network mode. Let it always be in bridge. Then for the management network IP, I normally set my static IP address and turn up IP version 6. Why? Because uh, sometimes we, uh, for me here on my network, we don't need the IP version 6. So I use uh, IP version 4. So that's why I turn it off. Here you can just go through some of things like uh, pinging, uh, web server, SSH server, and system. But for me, I am not using it anymore. So for the system, I will change the device name. Here the device name is exactly what you will see when scanning for your devices or when you are when you are trying to connect to the device. Then save. Okay, they said setting save successfully. I turn on NTF client for date and time settings. Yes, uh, you see, uh, this one is a sector, so I will turn up P2P 
and use access point. Why am I using access point? Because that's exactly how I want the device to be the access point. And also I will change the frequency to 5840. Yeah, that is my frequency here on my location. 5840. Then I will click save. Sometimes it's stuck long to save because it depends on your device. So uh, what you can see uh, here is taking longer. Why? Because I'm not directly connected to the device. I'm connected over uh, different connections. The device was already connected to my network. So that's why I think it's taking long. Finally, it's set already. If you are enjoying this video, kindly subscribe to support me and this means something to me thank you very much let's go back to the video so now it's time to set off my static ip address uh, when i put my static ip address this ip address is what i will be using to uh, access my device over the network so over my network i will use the this ip to access it so you need to put the gateway and I think it's better for you when you are setting up this uh, kind of devices to have your own IP address uh, assigned. Like for example, give them the serial number, similar, yeah, ser similar to serial number. When you call the number, you know exactly which device you are accessing or the device category. So after then what I will do is I will go and remove the IP address because I'm already connected to the internet. After then, I will be able to access my device everywhere, anywhere across my network. Oh, so now I will connect my new device with this sector. As you can see, I connected via the wireless. I do using the wireless because the device has already been mounted. Okay, we are logged in now. So I will make some alteration because I already connected the front sector. Now I will change it with the same name I told you. So I'm waiting for the device to show up now. Okay, they are coming. Coming, 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 coming. So I will speed up this process because I'm just scanning the atmosphere. So finally, you see it's coming. Now uh, I will click on the device and lock to AP. So look, uh, lock in the AP. I will to AP. I will save my changes. So I think uh, I don't know, but I think uh, the device is reset, restarting. Because every time I select a new SSID, I found out that uh, the device needs to reboot. I don't know. So now the device, as you can see, is searching for the signal for my device. After some couple of uh, seconds, it will connect upon coming to the range. My device has already come up, so but my signal strength is very weak. Why? Because I know the issue that my sector is not directly uh, reflecting the same position. Because this is a new site, so I add another light beam 
So for this, I will do to I will align this uh uh light beam. So I will align this light beam and later on align the sector. So for now, this is my network strength. After some few decades, I will go off to ensure that from here I have no any issue related to alignment. After then, I will go and align the sector to ensure that I have a very stable connection.